Hey, I'm Orange Plasma, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be building a spruce sort of hut. So this, this could be a tutorial style episode video. It's not an episode, it's not part of a series. But yeah, tutorial style video on how to build a very nice spruce hut. There'll be, um, you can see on the thumbnail, that's what we're going to be building today. I built this before um, quite a few times. Uh, but yeah, today we're going to be uh, teaching you how to build it. It's, it's a good design. There are quite a few things you can tweak, but let's get on with the design. So down here you can see the main assortment of blocks that I'm going to be using to build this house. So you, over here you have the classic spruce log, spruce planks, stripped spruce log, stone bricks. This could be a base sort of texture, barrels. Those are more for like a reinforced look on the spruce and spruce trapdoors for detailing. Now there are going to be some variations of these woods. For example, spruce planks, we will be using spruce stairs and spruce slabs. And, uh, well that's mostly it, maybe a few um, stone brick variants. But anyway, you're going to need to uh, clear out a large area. So this house is actually going to be... So this is actually going to be 13 by 17. So what, you've, what you're seeing here is I've laid out all of the pit pillars on the exterior. Uh, make sure they've got a three gap in between all of them. Um, so you have four pillars by five pillars. And that equates to 13 by 17. And that will give you the general square shape for your house. Except for the fact you want to go, you're going to want to come down here and place two pillars, one block out. And that will give you sort of a porch area. The next thing you're going to want to do is build them up by three on each one. So there should be four blocks tall overall. Uh, go all the way around doing this. And now, um, I should say that you can variate the size of these, this house and just take in so, sort of design details. So you could make it, you know, three by two pillars or something like that. And that would give you much more of a, a starter house design. This is quite big for a starter house. It's sort of like a, a late start house, if that makes any sense. But now you've uh, built them up all by, uh, by three. That's what I said. Um. I'm just going to use a command, but what I usually would do is just fill in all of this with stone bricks. But I'm just going to do, use a command, so slash fill there. And I'm going to drag this out all the way to here. With stone bricks. So yeah, once you've done that, that's the floor done. You're going to want to also take it out around here. Make sure there's a one block gap around all of the pillars. That'll give you more of like a, a structure feeling, make sure, making it feel like it's more inset into the ground. Next thing I'm going to want to do is start putting the actual walls itself. So if we start by the porch here, this could be the entrance. You're going to want to place two either side, again up and over in an arch shape. This will give you a door frame sort of shape where you can put in your door. Now what you're going to do is actually replace these with barrels. You didn't actually need those. I forgot about that. I'm very sorry about that. But that won't happen again. And um, that's basically going to be the main design for the rest of it. So if you go around, place barrels all the way around. You want to place it so it's sort of behind all of the pillars. And when you get to the corner, make sure that you stop like one block before this bit. So it actually looks the same from this side and this side. So you go all the way around the barrels, and over here, uh, make sure you don't do this part. You can do it, but if you do, th do this, it gives you more space and it looks a bit better. So yeah, once you've gone all the way around the barrels, you're going to have to do the next step. Um, but yeah, I'm still doing the barrels, so you can just wait while I do these barrels. And done with the barrels. So yeah, that's sort of giving you like a, a structural sort of base for the house. Now you're going to want to build up three on either side. So in each of these these uh, crevices, so it's not really a crevice, inside each of these alcoves, you're going to want to build up three on either side. When you get to a corner, uh, just build up one in the, just one behind the corner pillar, and then one on either side. And just keep on doing this all the way around. And you should sort of end up like with like a, like, you know how you have castles at the top? They have, like, these square bits that go up and down. Should end up with that, but a bit taller. A lot taller, actually. But, yeah, should end up with something like that. And so, it's going to be basically alternating 
having three planks up and three planks not up. So once you've done that, you're going to want to go and and look look around the wall. So it's like go around and slowly pan around with your camera. If you see there's logs exposed, you're going to want to fill those in. And go around. This just gives it a nicer feel from the inside. Although they will be covered up by more logs, um, which means it's mostly just there to stop mobs spawning inside of your walls and preventing you from sleeping. Anyway, you're going to want to go out, get your strip logs, or you can just place down normal logs and get an axe, and you can actually just strip it yourself. That's usually a better option while building. But I have, I'm in creative, and I have strip spruce logs on myself. So you're just going to want to pop those in, in between the gaps, all the way around, and that sort of adds like an accent to the windows and pops them out a bit. So it's very good. Over here at the door, you're going to want to put one there as well and build those up by one more. And that will leave room for the windows. So, oh, I forgot to do this one. So yeah, you're going to want to get yourself some glass panes. I forgot to add these into the materials list uh, when in the, uh, past, the uh, past scene. But yeah, if you just go around and you place in all of these windows, you can do different types of glass. Great, light grey stained glass is a very good alternative to normal glass, as it stands out a bit less than the the blinding whiteness. But I prefer normal glass as well. So it's up to you, really. Lots of this bill be up to you. Anyway, next part. Next, we're going to start moving inside. So what you're going to want to do is in the corner. You don't need to do anything. But right here, where there's three wide wall, make sure, with, without any features, make sure you put a pillar there. That will actually start, oh, it's horrible weather. Let me just change it. But yeah, make sure you just uh, put these pillars on wherever there's like a three by three space without any detail on it. Like detail would be something like a window or a pillar. So yeah, that's looking very good from the inside and the outside. Now, what you're gonna, what you're gonna want to do is get your trap doors. This will take a lot of trapdoors, but you have but you're gonna put them next to the windows on all of the windows. This will give it like a shutter a uh, a shutter effect as if it's got some shutters in front of it which you can be closed. Even though they can't be, but it'll give that effect and it actually makes it look a lot nicer. Okay, now that all of them have been done, you need to take a step back and look look at your masterpiece so far. One thing you may want to do is also add some shutters up to these windows up here. That will also help with the effect of the, well, to shut us, as I said. So the next thing you're going to want to do is actually start building the roof. Now, the roof can be quite complicated, so you might want to listen carefully. The first thing you're going to want to do is we should practice it on this roof bit here, on this front porch, as this is going to have a separate roof to the main house. So if you go down here, you're going to want to fill in all of the space out from the log. So if you go to the corner log, just here, and you make three around it, same on the other side, and then you bring that all the way back, and so it's like just sticking out one from the logs, and from the from the bottom you can't really see it looks flat. So now you have that on both sides. You're gonna want to add another layer, one in from the edge, and that will bring it up by one. Now what you're gonna want to do is Two from two from here and here, and that you start to see the a sort of very shallow A that's going to be made, and on top of those two, you're going to want to, going to want to add some more. You can bring those back as well, and then when you get to this last bit, just do one and then again, one and again, and bring that back. Oh, bring that back or in. Now you're going to see here. You can actually see in the top of the window. So what you're going to want to do is add a strip log just sideways up there. And now keep going all the way up. And now you've got this very nice little like slope roof. And now you're going to have to do it on a bigger version. So this is actually going to have two floors, but the, the second floor is going to be um, a lot smaller than the first floor. I'm sorry if you can't hear any background noise. Um, but yeah, what you're going to want to do is go to the corner again, similar to last time. And you're going to want to build that out around three. And you're going to want to go to this corner, build it around three. This corner, around three. And this corner, around three. Okay, so now at the edge of pillars, you've got three slabs. Make sure the top slabs. Now what you're going to do is 
on the long side, so not the short side, but the long side, if you just start to place down slabs around the pillars. And then you have this long flat, long, long flat piece, and you can also do that on this side as well, if you start to place in some more slabs. And there. And now you're going to want to do the same as before, and just add one in. You're going to want to add a longer piece um, on one, a longer uh, bottom slabs, sorry, on one end on this bit. I said one in like a thousand times then. I'm really, this is my first time doing a tutorial, like a proper tutorial, so I'm a bit nervous. But anyway, you're going to want to uh, take that in one more and make sure it's too deep when you take it in again. And you're going to do it on the other side and we're going to start to make the A sort of frame shape. And now once you've done that, you can just make those, put, put another slabs on those ones, bottom slabs again. I think actually no, it's top slabs now. Yeah, top slabs. Which basically makes it into a full block. You see if I break here, it's all one. So that's going to be very nice. But what we're going to do is also go again. Like this. And then you can keep on repeating that. Adding one, two to the top. And then two to the side, two to the top, two to the side, two to the top, two to the side. And make sure you do that equally on both sides. And they should meet in the middle. And then should meet in the middle like this. And then you just do like that. And there, you have your you have your frame shape, and you go on to repeat this on the other side. So two on top, two to the side, two on top, two to the side, two on top, two on top, two to the side, two on top, two to the side, two on top. This is a tongue twister. Two to the side, two on top, two to the side, two on top, and you're going to want to finish it off again by doing the same thing. Two to the side, two on the top. Anyway, now you have. Both sides of your house, you can start to see the general shape the roof will take. Now the one thing you want to do is, if you come down here, you want to build this up, and you see you can't place another one there because there's a slab there. So you want to remove that slab and place that there. And the same on this side. And you're going to do that on the other side as well, but only on the outside ones for now. So that should, all those go up into the roof. It looks like it's being supported now. And what you want to do is, you can build the spruce planks up now at this point if you want to have a chimney here which i would um uh, i would uh, recommend then you're actually going to take out this 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 and all the way like that and now leave room for a chimney and so what you're going to do is i i, I probably said this without uh did this without saying it but you're going to build these up as well behind it but there's going to be no gap there so you don't need to worry about that you want to do the same thing here and but for over here it's a uh, another strip spruce log make sure it's sideways so the texture carries it all the way up do that on the other side make sure it's behind the uh the slabs so if you go around the other side you can see that was like done behind the slabs slabs so it's actually hidden and it looks like that's a supporting structure for the house now if you are having a fireplace here you can just build this up if not you can do what we're going to do on the other side which you'll see in a second. But yeah, what we do is you take it all the way up to the ceiling, make sure to break that slab, and then it goes out from the roof like this. I should probably do that again just to show you how I did, how I did it. So it was um, like this. So you can fill, fill in that gap and go out by one, all the way up to the top. And when you get to the slabs bit here, you can break both slabs there, and then you can take it up, That'll be the chimney, and this one you can just leave there because it's sort of like this. This is only there for the backdrop for the fireplace. It's actually just gonna go back out, and it looks better if you can see it go through the roof. You actually know it's like a chimney. It's supposed to be there. Anyway, go back into here, and what you're gonna want to do is build this in by a little bit. So you're going to want to build it in a bit, uh, so all you want to do is at the top of the roof, make sure the roof, you only place the slabs at the top, like the very top, so it looks like the roof is flat. And also when you get to the chimney, uh, when, you, when you're first expanding, make sure you do one up at the chimney so it's e even on either side. So it actually looks like the roof is just, uh, the chimney's been cut into the roof. 
Anyway, you don't want to do this until you reach, uh, until you, you're just before this log. So this interior pole here, you're going to want to take the roof in until it's just before that. And after that, you just want to do around it. So you can see if you extend these logs up, which you should probably do by now, extend exactly these ones up and also the ones on the other side, except there's none actually over here. So just extend this one up. So yeah, it's the uh, the three in the middle. So the three interior poles on that side extend up by, what did I, what did I do? Three blocks, yeah, three blocks. And also the one on this side. So once you extend all those up, you just build the slabs around them. So I'm going to build this out one more. And then you see there's these poles here. So I'm just going to build it across down here because that goes around the pole. When you get to the roof, when you're building up, just leave it as it mends into the roof. And that will look like it just turned and it came out as a different direct in a different direction in the form of this roof. Anyway, on this side, did I do? I did most of it on this side, the yeast labs. Anyway, so you're now left with these pillars. I'm going to extend them up another three into the sky. That's very good. And also... Okay, now I did did uh, lie sort of earlier. Didn't lie, but like I just said the wrong thing. But you're actually gonna want to extend these one further around the poles, and when you get here, make sure you do it one up in the, in these in these crevices of three. Make sure you do them one up, and also on this side, you're going to want to build out a bit further, except over here. As well, as you can see over this side. On this side, there's, a, there's actually a pole going through, so right on this side, you can see if you uh, go from this pole here, and you go one, two, you look straight up, and you need a hole there. You can build a log all the way up, and then just break it down. I should probably turn, um, I should probably, uh, game rule, um, game rule, do fire tick, false, so the house won't burn down. Anyway. Yep, so if you go in, and then you can just break that log um, all the way down from that slab. So it's still, you can't actually see that there's nothing underneath it from the outside. But from the inside, it's there's as little as much as possible breaking down. You also want to do this for the other log. So if you go one, two, the other side of this alcove, one, two, and then you go straight up. And then from the slab, one, two, three, four, five. And I'll give you two logs. And you want to extend these up to the height of the other ones. And now you start to have the top part of your building. Now over here, there's one, two, three, and look, there's supposed to be a log here. So what you do is you place a block there, and you build the log up to the same height again. So you're going to have to break the slab, put a block down, and build it up to the same height. Yeah, you can definitely start to see the top part getting into place. So this is going to look much better than the other parts. Uh, sorry, much better than if there wasn't up there. And also, I forgot to do this side. So, um, yeah. Uh, from this side, you also have to mirror it onto this side sort of thing. You probably don't do the chimney. Um, because that will just make it look a bit uglier. Uh, and most houses don't have two chimneys. And now you just fill in these. Like, like on the other side, you make sure it's all hidden. So it goes up in, looks like it goes up into the roof. And if you want to, you can actually heighten this up by one by taking out a log and putting two more trapdoors that gives it more of a height difference and the windows start to match the inclination of the roof now if you go over here you see it's very nice down here and also if you go to this side very nice down this side everything's very nice about this house right now right now so what we're going to want to do here is extend this back again and make it join up as you're going to also have to do the slabs on this side. Uh, like on this side, uh, as I said, you, you, uh, well, like on this side, as I said, where you build them up, you're also going to have to build them up on this side so it goes in by one and make sure it's on the same height as this other plane of the roof. Now what you're going to want to do is grab some barrels and you're going to want to make them facing up and build them across here so you can see the top half of the barrels. Go over this side as well. It'll be a bit hard in survival mode. With creative, everything's easier. Make sure you also do them in between pillars as well here. 
on this side, it doesn't really matter, nor does it on this side. Um, but yeah, make sure you do it at either on the left and the right. What you want to do then is mirror the what you did below and build them up by two, three, sorry, and three on this side. Okay, that's looking very good. And also, you're going to build in these things behind the pillars as you look around. And last of all, you're going to put in some trap doors and some windows. So if you put in, oh, make sure you do like that. That's not lasting. I said lasting, but it's not actually last because we're going to have to put some strip logs after that. Anyway, focus on the trap doors and the windows for now. Trap doors, windows, and you can put the strip logs up here, like down below. So it's basically like a, a copy of down below. Um, it, it looks very similar, that's because it's part of the same house. But yeah, you can start to see now how it's replicated up at the top, and it definitely looks like an extension of the house. Now, when you get to this side, uh, what I usually do is uh, you put a block there and build up again, and then you start to build a wall up, and it's a bit complicated this bit as well. But basically, you want to end up looking like this. So just two blocks on the other side of the alcove, on the part where the roof gets taller. And then what I usually do here is I just put in some strip logs all the way up. You can, if you want, put a window in here. But this takes away from your ability to decorate the inside. But it also can look quite nice. So I'm going to do it for now. This isn't isn't this isn't in the uh, thumbnail. These two windows here. But there's such a minor detail anyway that nobody will notice. And also some strip log strip logs on top. So it's all looking very nice now. Uh, the, the only final thing is to do the roof. So this is going to be doing the same, going the same way as before the um, this one, and it's going to have the same principle. So three around this corner, and do that all the way around. And then you're going to bring this all the way back with these slabs. Don't worry if there's a gap at the top. Actually, okay, ignore what I just did. Sorry, there's some mistake there. What you're actually supposed to do, sorry, is take these down by one. I accidentally built them a bit, built them a bit too high. Um, but yeah, now do three round the corners. And final corner. And if you just build them across like this, like you did before, and now there's no gap, and it looks much better. It actually looks like a proper roof. So that's done now. You have this shape, and you want to again build it across here. Do all that we did before. I'm going to show it though so you can get some more practice. Yep, like that, and like that. And two to the side, two, two up, two to the side, two up. All the way up until you meet in the middle. Very nice. And also on the other side. You could, you can probably hear my mouse. I do have quite a loud mouse. Anyway, if you go to the outside, you place a log there. And again, destroy that slab and put a log there. And look there, and look there. And at this point, it's sort of looking like a... I don't know why, but I think it looks like an angry face a bit. I'm not sure why. But yeah, you're going to put two planks up here, and ship block next to it. And also next to these ones as well. So this is going to be... This makes it go look, look like it goes up into the roof, like we did before. And make sure it's again behind the slabs, and behind the slabs. Now what you're going to do is... Bring this out again, and you're almost done on the outside once you finish putting these slabs in. And again, make sure it's always, always makes it so each uh, each step of the roof is actually flat, and that gives it a very nice effect. It always has to be the slabs placed on the top of the block, like the very top. Um, but you don't want it. When I say top, I don't mean make it go up by one, but I mean like the top, uh, top so it's in line with the ones on the end. And once you've done that, your house is actually going to be looking quite nice. You can see, it's very, very, it's very complete looking. I guess that's the word I'm looking for. And now it's time to do, tackle the inside. 
Uh, now you can do the inside any way you want. From now on, it's just going to be what I recommend for the inside. It is a bit of a mess, so you could watch it just to see how you clear it up. But yeah, here's how I would do the inside. So, if I fly up a bit, I can see there's sort of like a, a top, a top right to where all the normality is. So what I'm thinking is, if you see where this, this where it's like this, this gap, this gap in the slabs, I, that took me, me a long time to say that. Um, it, there's a gap there in the slabs. So if you look at the top slab and you just build some stone bricks, and so you can't, can't actually see any gap there once you've done. So you're just going to fill in the entire ceiling with these stone bricks. And make sure they go all the way around so they wrap, they don't go into the slab holes, but make sure they cover everything else. When you get to this bit here, so just ignore that for now actually, but yeah, just keep on building out. Once you get to this alcove bit here, what I usually do is I bub 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 bub. And what I just did there is I'm going to reset it so you can see again. Is that's the outside, and I'm just adding a slab onto all of the surfaces. Um, over here, I usually add a uh, add. What do I usually do? Um, oh yeah, just a slab, two slabs there, and that gives it again more of a uh, more of an arch shape. And over here, just uh, don't add those slabs there. Sorry, just add some stone bricks, and that gives it. Bit of an art shape, it's a bit of a weird transi transition over, but it looks fine in the end. Anyway, so now your downstairs is basically done, except we're going to tackle the fireplace now. So you're going to want some stone brick stairs over here, and what you're going to do is build this down like that. Now take out those two blocks and build one there, one stair there, one stair there. You're going to put that down to the bottom, and now you've got like a, a fireplace shape. And now what you're going to do is take out that block, and if you if you walk into the fireplace before you put a fire there, look up, look look towards the other window, and then look straight up so you're still facing that way, and place down a stair, and that'll give more like get a bit like a ventilation. It looks like a ventilation shaft from but um from in front. Now what you're going to need is a campfire, and if you place that right down there. Now A, add some light, and B, look pretty cool. So now you want some iron bars. Oh, yep, iron bars. And you can put those in front as the fire guard. And now it's looking pretty cool. You've got your own fire. And now we need to tackle the upstairs. Because the upstairs is still frankly horrible. So yeah, what you're going to want to do is actually get some spruce logs. And as I said before, there's a 3x3 three three area there. So let's build it up until it's in line with these slabs. And now, what I'm going to do for the roof is, if I get some stone brick slabs, oh, uh, yep, stone brick slabs, what I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to build them across, so they're like, so uh, so on the side here, you're going to want to build them so that they're there, so they're the block, the bottom half of the block above these logs, and then you're going to go up half a block, and then up another a bit more. You don't need to add these in the corner, so you just so they're in line with the other ones, and this gives it a sort of effect like it's stone brick on the roof, even though uh, it's like a fake roof underneath the real roof. Anyway, you can cover that up if you want. Let's tackle over here. What I usually do is I place a barrel there, a barrel there, and on the other side as well, and I take these down by two, and there you sort of have like. The interior good. You might, uh, the interior nice and look, nice looking. You're going to want to uh, place some barrels in here as well, which just carries the theme out. Uh, and yeah, you've got a, quite a nice, quite a nice space. It's not much room. You can, if you want, take out these pillars. That will leave you with more room up here. But I like to keep them in. If you do keep in these, keep in, this, in if you do keep in these pillars though, you might want to break this slab there and break the slab there and put a stair instead that's a bit complicated but like you break the slab and then on the side if you look up to the, to the slab and you put one right there on the 
on facing towards the back of the slab uh, next to where the pillar is. If you place it down, it sort of hides the fact that the pillar is actually not going through the roof and supporting it. Even though it's not, but like it looks like it should do, which is good. Anyway, down here you're gonna to want to break that, not break that. Um, but yeah, so what I'm gonna do here is actually bring down some slabs here. So just from the top of the roof, just bring them down until they're in line with that log. If you want, you can actually get some uh, spruce stairs and place them there, which gives it sort of an incline into the ins into the inside of the house. Then inside, what you're gonna to want to do is over over on this side you're going to want to place some strip logs going up like that and that'll give it the effect like it's on this side even though technically the stone bricks behind it are the outside but it's actually actually no wait oh yeah it just looks like the same as that side so ignore what i said before then if you come in here you're going to want to place a slab there and a slab there and a slab there and a slab there Okay, and that leaves you with a bit more room back here. What I also usually do is, if you crouch, you can get a better angle. But place slabs all the way at the back. Place slabs down across until there's just that block there. And instead, place a spruce plank on the top part of the slab. Place a on the top part of the slab. Place a spruce planks block there. That's the, that's the word. You can want to do this on the other side as well. So place them there and slabs across the bottom. That's quite nice. Now you're going to need a ladder to get down. So I usually start the ladder right right about here. Sometimes, I think. Nope, not here. Okay, uh, over here. Yes, over here. So I start the ladder over here. So what I do is I break this block. And I put down some spruce planks. Then I put a, sl a, a stair there. And then I put slabs going all the way down. And now this gives you sort of like a very thin ladder. Because you can actually place ladders on right here. And it gives you the spruce effect all the way down. And it's very thin. So it looks like sort of just like the ladders hanging down. Even though it's not. But do be warned. Don't flip any of these up while, I have, while they have ladders on it. Otherwise it'll break it. But yeah. Uh, what I did is I got went into this corner. I broke down. I placed this, I broke one of the, the stone brick blocks behind it. You place spruce planks there. Spruce slab facing backwards. So if you go behind where the ladder will be, and place a plank, um, some stairs there uh, on the ceiling, it'll make that shape, and you can just put trapdoors beneath it. Then, if you put down some ladders, you can go all the way straight up again, and to the top. And then you can see it's very thin, very thin ladders, very nice looking, and you can just climb up there all the way to the top. I always do two extra ladders. That sort of gives it like the feeling that you just like you walk on and then you actually grab hold of the hold of the ladder and then you start to climb downwards like it would be in real life. Now, as you move down here, that's actually the interior done. Um, it's not actually furnished, but that that's what you can do yourself. But now it's just gonna be a rough guide on how I would furnish it. So if I'm gonna add a enchantment table here, so you're gonna need an enchantment table and bookshelf. I'll place down the, the enchantment table there, and I'll block pick this spruce log, and I'll fill in that window. This does make it a bit dark, but it does allow you to place uh, bookshelves across this wall without it being seen. And then you're also going to want to put some bookshelves like this, so it actually has a high enough level to fully enchant a netherite sword. Oh, you're going to need one more, sorry. Like that. I'm going to add one more layer in the both sides so it looks a bit better. Well, they can take one side of this, so it's more like a an access from this side. But that will be level 30, which is the highest level you can enchant at. So you've got your enchantment table on here, and you're going to see this barrels on the side here. And one thing you sh should add if you're going to want to have it looking nice, you want some lanterns. Um, so we can we can do the rest of the furnishing in a second. But if you go outside. I usually on the edge of these uh these A frames, these they're called A frames even though they're more like an upside down V. But yeah, on the edges, if you just place a slab, so it's a full block, and you can place lanterns on it. And if you do that on all of the sides, 
it will give you a sort of a glowing effect and it will light up the area around it. Now on this back side, I, on this back side, I am going to place down another one there, and that just adds a bit of light in the middle. And again, on this side, there, and then you've got a lot of land in this place. I usually do it up here as well, even though it doesn't do much in the way of stopping mob spawning, because there aren't any mob, many mobs that spawn up here anyway. But it'll still help a bit, and it also looks nicer. Uh, if you want to add a bit of extra detail, if you come around here, and every every block above the trap doors on the windows, you can also add some trap doors that go outwards along the bottom of the roof. That gives it more of a support feel, and it looks like there's something supporting the entire roof through the through the building. Do that on the other side as well, all the way around. And you can add them up there, even though there's nothing down there. So yeah, looking quite nice now. Uh, if you want, you can add them up here. And that's very nice now. And if you're going to go inside, you want to add some lanterns into here as well. So up here, you can add a lantern down there and down there and you can also add one just say there and there that should adequately light up the room and if you go down to downstairs i'll place one there in between these pillars so there's a pillar there pillar there and you place one in the block there i usually do and also one there wait no one yeah one there and there just so when you walk in the doorway it's very nice in it I also place one on these pillars here, so you don't really need that one or that one. That's very nice now, isn't it? So very nicely lit. And if you really want, sometimes I do hang. Uh, well, no, yeah, sometimes I do do this and hang a lantern up, lantern up there. But I'm not going to do that because that blocks the window. And I would advise against it. It just doesn't look that nice. Anyway, you have lots more stuff done here. Now I'm going to go upstairs and start to furnish this upstairs so one side of these uh sort of these back rooms gonna have anvils and now the good thing about this house is you don't actually need much storage because there's barrels in the walls you can literally store your items in the walls and that's just i find that really cool uh because yeah it's like hidden storage anyway what i'm also gonna do is get a lodestone gonna get all of the uh basically the necessities that you're gonna need eventually so you know stone stone cutter loom cartography table lodestone grindstone there'll be i should add also grindstone downstairs with the enchantment table um so you can enchant straight from the uh the enchantment table and then if you get an enchantment you don't like you can go straight to the grindstone and grind it I also quite often add a, if there's one in here, an ender chest, I don't see one, oh yeah, the, here, and also a jukebox, and, oh there's not a room, uh, moves the so we don't need one, we've got one downstairs, so yeah, now we have all of like, the necessities back here, which you might need eventually, and in this room, this is often my bedroom, so we're, go, go, we're going to go for the classic red bed, and pop that down there in the corner. We can sleep and sleep through the night. Have some nice dreams. And it's daytime now. Anyway, this is basically done up here. You can add like other stuff if you want. But it's not really necessary. And I mean, that's all you really need. You've got storage. The only other thing you might need is... Um, yep, furnaces and blast furnaces and smokers. And this is just for cooking general stuff. If you put them either side up here. Um, one thing I like to do is, if I go down here, get some blast furnaces. And that looks like a very nice hearth zone. So, and yeah, it's very, it looks like it's like reinforced for the fire. The heat of the fire. Anyway, then you can, so you can, but they're actually functional as well down there. So you can have some smokers back here as well, if you want. Some hidden furnaces behind here. If you really want, you can add some double chests in. Um, just for a bit more, bit more storage. But you, uh, you don't actually. Did I really just type in double chest into the search bar? 
Anyway, yeah. But you don't actually need double chests, as I said. Storage everywhere. But yeah, it's looking quite nice now. You don't really need much in here. If you want, you can add some in, add in some carpet. And if you go from here. Now I'm trying not to go into too much interior de uh, interior design in this episode in this uh, building tutorial because I'm going to do another video on that sometime soon, uh, as that's like a whole other category itself, interior design. But anyway, this is basically your basic start home, and it's complete. Oh. I should probably add the uh, chimney on, shouldn't I? So we want campfire, and you're just gonna want some trapdoors. And if you just make a chimney like that by putting campfire in the middle, and then putting closed trapdoors around the edges, and that is now your your house. It's it's crazy. It's crazy how it just pops out into life into life. But yeah, it's just beautiful. Um, I'm I'm blowing my own trumpet here because I did design it, and I'm calling it beautiful. But I don't know. Say say in the comments what you think what you think it looks like and if you like it. Anyway, that is the building tutorial done. I hope this wasn't too complicated. This was my first tutorial properly, so you know if 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 it's a bit fast paced or if it's too slow paced or if it's too complicated, then I'll do something different in the future. Anyway, thank you for watching. Goodbye.